hello there guys welcome back to our youtube channel cat cancer today we are going to design this simple part exercise tutorial in which we will create this part which is part exercise 21 in this solid works 2018 version and i am going to use this 2d drawing in order to create this part you can see this is the 2d drawing of this part and all these dimensions which are mentioned in the drawing are in millimeters so make sure you are working at a millimeter gram second system now if you need this 2D drawing you can download it from the website link provided in the description box and if you need more 2D drawings like this you can download it from our website which is www.catcancer.com Now before getting started if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of all our latest uploads Now moving on to the drawing you can see this is the drawing which we have will create to in this tutorial now there are two tricks or typical regions which you might face problem is are these two regions which are you can say are tapered cutouts or triangular cutouts now we will create these cutouts in a very simple way using one creating a reference plane now let's get started now first I will enter into the part mode, select here file, select here new, now select this part, click here ok. Now let me change background to plain white, select here plain white. Now select here sketch, now select here front plane to sketch. Now select here center line, create one center line, again select here center line, one center line in the downward direction now one center line from this middle region now the center of the origin will be the center of this circle we are assuming this part as a symmetry so we will create our circle from this origin point so for that select here circle command select this origin point create one circle now go to smart dimension you can see here the dimensions of these circles are 13 dia which is mentioned here so select the circle enter the value of 13 now drag this dimension like this now again select a line command now we have to create this profile select line and create this profile like this now we will assign some dimensions to it go to smart dimension now you can see here let me zoom in you can see this height is nine and a half mm which is mentioned here so select this edge enter the value of 9.5 and from center up to this edge it is 12 So select this edge, select this circle, it will automatically snap from the center. Now this will be 12. Now you can see from center up to this edge, it is 8 mm. So select this edge, select the circle. Now this will be 8 mm, like this. Now this will be 25 mm. Now you must be wondering from where I have calculated it you can see here these two dimensions which is 50 and 25 from top to bottom it is 50 and if we will subtract from this height and we will get this desired height which will be 25 now select this edge enter the value of 25 now the total distance is 100 so this will be 50 now this is our required profile now select here mirror entities now it will ask for the entities to mirror now select these edges now select here mirror about make sure you check here copy now select this axis 
now click here ok now you can see we have created our profile now we will extrude it up to a thickness of 75 which is mentioned here which is the thickness of this part now go to features select here extrude wash base and select here mid plane now enter the value of 75 now click here ok now in the next step we will create this cutout for that we will select here sketch and click on this drop down icon and select here 3d sketch now select here line command create one random line on this face you can see this line should be on this face Now select this line, make construction geometry. Now you can see here the angle is 60 degree from this edge. So select this edge and select this line. This will be 60 degree. And from to this edge to this corner this will be 25 so select this corner sorry select smart dimension select this corner or select this corner or you can simply let me escape it now again select here you can simply select edges now select this corner and select this edge this will be 25 as mentioned in the drawing now again select here center line now select this corner point and select this end point of this line now press the escape key now again select here center line select this corner and select this corner now press the escape key now again select here center line now select this corner and select this corner now press the escape key you can see we have created our desired profile make sure your three lines which is these three should be on different face like this line should be on this face this one should be on this face and this third one should be on this face now select now exit this sketch now go to features select a reference geometry and select here plane now select this edge and this edge now click here ok now go to features select here extrude cut now select this sketch uh, let me first convert these now select this plane which I have just created and select here sketch. Now select here convert entities and select these three lines and click here OK. Now go to features, select here extrude cut. Now direction will be opposite, you can see. Now click here OK. You can select through all or any direction which can completely cut this part. Now hide this plane. Now in the next step, we will going to extrude this remaining portion. Now for that, select this face, select here sketch. Now select here convert entities, select this edge, this edge, this edge and this one. Now click here OK. Now select here trim entities, trim this extended portion. Now go to features, select here extrude wall space. Now extrude it up to a distance of 25 which is mentioned here now enter the value of 25 like this now click here ok now I will add this 3d sketch 
I can see now select this face click here normal to now select here sketch now select line command now create one line like this now select a smart dimension now you can see here the angle is 45 degree from this to this inclined axis now select these two sorry select a smart dimension select this edge and this edge this should be 45 degree now one more dimension we have to specify select a smart dimension you can see here the distance is 25 and up to this edge this cutout is present so this will be 25 mm select this edge enter the value of 25 up to this edge now go to features select here extrude cut select here through all click here ok now you can see now this cutout is the remaining now we have to create this cutout now for that select this face click here normal to and sketch now select here line command create one line now move back and forth towards this end point and create an arc now close this sketch now you can see the depth is 13 and from center of this arc up to this edge this will be 24 mm go to smart dimension select this edge and sorry select this center point this will be 24 and from center up to this edge this will be 16 and uh, dia is 19 which is mentioned here so select this one this will be 19 now we will extrude cut up to a distance of 13 mm go to features select here extrude cut distance will be only 13 now enter the value of 13 click here ok now you can see we have created our desired part now if you want to add some appearance you can add it from this color menu this is our required part which we have created in this tutorial if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so for more updates thank you